Hey guys, it's Renee here. Sorry about all the back and forth. I, um, yeah. Setting things up is not really my forte. But anyways, it's Renee from Renee in Cancerland. And I want to share with you comments that I have been receiving lately that really touch my heart and I think it's important for all of us to hear this um, and believe it about ourselves. I hear and have heard for many years now that my story inspires other people and I used to brush that off and say you know what there's nothing special about what I did what I do it's what I have to do and my thought process is I have to stay strong and hold it together and keep going for my son and my husband and family and friends and all the people out there who need this in the world. And then I was talking to a really good friend the other night and she told me that I need to stop being modest about this and I need to own it. And she's like, you need to effing own it and own your greatness, own what you've done, own the fact that yes, you have been to hell and back on numerous occasions and somehow you come out with that smile on your face. And I went back and read old journal entries and you know, working on the book has taken me back into some pretty dark and ugly places. And yeah, I have been to hell and back a few times. And this is me owning it. You know what? I am going to own it. I am going to own that part of my story and... By the grace of God, I have been able to turn that into this. I don't, I used to say I don't think I'm special, but listening to different people on talks and of them finding their passion in the world and a passion to help others, I'm going to retract that statement and I'm going to say, yes, I am special and yes, I think God is using me for you. In what capacity, I don't know. And I'm just doing what I hear in my heart to do and that is to talk and to talk to y'all about this. So... Yeah, it's kind of weird for me to sit here and say that to you, but I'm going to own it. I'm going to own the fact that I have survived a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of crap, but I'm here and I'm stronger and I'm ready to take on whatever this next chapter in my life is going to be and I guess my whole point of this is whatever your story has been or is own it and use it and use it to propel you into what you want your story to be you know, um, I realize that I have been
been lucky, if that's even a word you want to use, um, to survive all the crap I have survived. But then on the other hand, I don't want to call it luck because I feel like it was there for a reason and that reason is just now being shown to me. You know, if you don't believe in God and you don't believe in for a reason, that's cool. I get it. I um, think that we all still have to listen to those voices in our hearts and when it tells you to fight, you pull it together and you fight. And when it tells you to lay low and to rest, you've got to do that as well. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure where I'm going with all this, except for the fact that I do hear your voices and I hear your encouragements and I hear your praises that you're giving to me. And I just want to say thank you. And it means a ton to me. And because of that, I'm ready. I'm ready to go forth in this journey. And whatever that leads to, I'm ready. And I'm ready to show it to y'all and for y'all to share it with me. And hopefully y'all gather strength from this and you tell me, you tell me what you've done that's out of the box and crazy or when you followed your heart and it led to greatness. I really want to hear from you. So if email me um, at renee.sindelbach at yahoo.com. Scratch that. Renee dot sindelbach at gmail dot com um and i'm gonna put it all in my profile link however that works i'm fixing to figure that out but yeah thanks for coming back and if there's something specific you want me to talk about let me know because i'm here and i'm ready to get this train rolling Talk to you soon. Bye.